Parallel reasoning is a type of refutation technique where you want to show that the form of the argument is wrong, or in other words, that the argument is invalid. What's nice with this technique is that you do not need to know precisely which type of fallacy your opponent is using. You can do the trick with just an intuitive understanding that something is wrong with the argument, and enough creativity to come up with a good parallel argument. Let me give you a couple of examples I really like. Uh, the confusion between weather and climate, a classic, that is offered to us by cli climato skeptics. Look how cold it is right now, so where, the, where is the global warming everyone's talking about, hmm? And the parallel argument. Oh, I had a huge meal today, where is the world hunger everyone's talking about? Another less classic one was provided during the pandemic by the it's just a few guys. The coronavirus at, the, at some point had killed 4,000 people only uh, in the United States, for instance. The flu kills more than 50,000 people a year around that in this same country. So people were saying, oh, we are overreacting uh, with all those lockdowns, look at the numbers. This argument has been used again and again by countless politicians, by the way, at the beginning of the pandemic. It is a false analogy and your goal is now to prove it. I found in a forum a lovely refutation, so it's not mine, but I really thank the guy who found that one, whether he is or she. Godzilla just entered the city and killed 4,000 people. The flu kills more than 50,000 people a year. We are overreacting by all trying to run away from Godzilla. Indeed, you should not look at the number of people who are already dead. But for the flu analogy to be relevant, you should compare with the number of people who could die in a year. If nothing was done in the United States, the potential death toll uh, at the beginning of the epidemic was estimated to be over a million. It's already half a million at, like, to this day when I'm doing, shooting this video. That puts things into perspective, doesn't it? When you evaluate whether your counterexample is good, you should always ask yourself, your parallel reasoning, I mean, is good. You should always ask yourself, does the parallel argument have the same form as the argument I want to refute? And then, does it really sound absurd? If not, you may need to look for another one. But overall, that's a good strategy to rebuke and to, or to refute someone else's bad argument.